Uh, the best way to get the game out of the buck is for them to all start playing a little bit. That's exactly what I was thinking, Jesse. These people all trying to talk a big game about how they're like the best, you know, biggest gambler in the game, and I want to straddle, and I want to ante, and I want to do this, and I want to do that. Wow! These are the only two cards most of them are waiting to play. It, he's, it's, I think this, I mean, I think this is the seventh time Torelli's had aces. There have been a lot of aces out there, and he, Torelli's had them a few times. A few? And, you know, Tor Tor Torelli's made this 1900, and Schwartz, who's sitting on a very big stack here, about 38 grand. We raised 4,000. Now, this is serious business here. Do you me covered? No. Story of the day. <clears throat> Got it right every time. If he just calls, Schwartz is going to have to get all this money in a lot of times. You know, the flop, there'll be 8,000, about 10,000 in the pot. Sorry? I come in the middle of a huge hand. And Torelli yeah, only has 16 back. I mean, isn't yeah, there an argument for calling? <clears throat> There's definitely an argument for calling because if you raise now, then you, that's it. Out. The game's up. You're not going to get anything out of it. Unless you think that Luke Schwartz. Always, when he does this kind of thing, has queens, jacks, kings, right. you know, even two tens or ace right. king. And you don't want him to, 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 to knuckle uh, the queens on a king or ace side exactly, flop. Exactly, exactly. If you think he's that kind of player, then you re raise and you think, right, come on, let's get the money in. But if you think he's a player who's got a wide open range for doing this kind of thing, and clearly Luke Schwartz is that kind of player, well, then you have to just flat call, and you have to hope that he barrels away so at you months? on well, the flop. Yeah, because once he barrels the flop, the money's just going to be all in. Uh, that's it. It's basically all in. And, and he knows that, uh, Torelli, and he's a good player, and uh, he's done exactly what I expect him to do, which is just to call it. Uh, really, really good play uh, by Torelli. A lot of people wouldn't have played it like that and he's in my mind played it absolutely correctly and luke this is a great flop for ace jack you know luke's not sure whether he's winning but he could be up against a pair he's probably putting torelli on a middle pair and he can make him lay it down in his mind he's gone for quite a small bet give himself a bit of wiggle room because the effective stack is reasonably small torelli's uh, not got enormous amounts and uh He's so, thinking, well, a lot of the times here, Torelli will just fold. I think, I think Torelli will just call again here, and yes, he has, yeah. Okay. Looks nobody's fool, but is he going to get hung out here? Well, this is an interesting card, isn't it? Uh, because they both have a club in their hand, and, and Luke might be thinking, well, that's my little safety net in case it all goes wrong. Uh, but we know that Alec Torelli's got the ace of clubs. It's actually drawing dead here. Yeah, I think Luke must bet again, given the way he's played it. And I think he should go for about a 3,600, something in that region. And uh, I think it, body language tells me this is a check from watching Luke from time to time. But he, he might take a long time over it, and he might make a bet. He's definitely thinking about it. I, I think he has to bet, really. I mean, he's given the way he's played it, if you're going to make this move pre-flop, it's a pretty good flop for Ace Jack, really. And uh, T tell me some of the hands can, that Torelli could have played like this, where he's Schwartz is still going to get him, going to win this pot. Well, uh, quite a few. He's going to lay down some middle pairs here. I mean, this is real pressure. You imagine you're sitting there with a pair of sevens or a pair of fives or a pair of eights. Are you really loving life that much at this stage? I mean, you, you basically have to pull your stack in, really, and you could be two outs. And if he, if he calls here, is the jig pretty much up? Or because of the three clubs on board, the jig may not be up. And Alec Torelli might as well just go all in now because the, the, the money's already, there's not much money left. And, you know, he might as well just put it in, really. It's, if, he, if he calls, Luke's going to check to him a hell of a lot on the river. He's going to bet and Luke's going to fold. He's giving Luke a free card to, to beat him on the river. You know, obviously he can't really be beat, but uh, he doesn't know that. Oh, at that time, I would have I would have made the raise. Well, Alec Torelli will probably quite like that card. He'll he'll kind of think that Ace King was possibly in in Luke's range of hands, and uh, you know that's not a bad card. And Luke might think that's a bluffing card as well. Um, he's reaching. Yeah, there you go. He definitely thinks that's a bluffing card, and there's no way Alec Torelli's folding. Uh, he's going to call for sure. Um, 
and uh, he's going to win a nice pot and double up and Luke Schwartz is back on the eight ball again the game is up Schwartz an shocker, isn't it? doubles up Torelli so wait, wait. that's what Torelli was waiting for I thought he had aces I was the only 11, hand and I had a blocker 12, 11, 12, and for Luke four. Schwartz I don't have 13 Run it 12, into the big five, hand again. 12, 6, 25. It's ugly. Not for Torelli. Who now ahead 21,000 pounds. 